So we're gonna get like five loaves of bread. We're here catch them all fishing's secret spot. Oh my god, they fight! Oh, bro, 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 bro! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a wall. Oh. This one's huge. Look at how good this. Oh. I'd say we got enough bread now. We go back to those schools of pot food and we can get them chunked up. Urban Miami has one of the most unique fisheries in the world. Although it's mostly a concrete jungle, its tropical temperatures allow exotic fish like the Amazonian pocky and hundreds of other released exotics to survive here, which makes it a fisherman's paradise. You get any bites when I was gone? We should have enough bread now, bro. Literally just put the whole thing on there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they eat the whole thing in one bite anyways, dude. I'm just gonna like try and squeeze that hook on there. Dude. Oh my gosh. They're getting closer, bro. Hit it, <laughs> Like right next to it. Get them chummed up though before we cast out. Wait for the wind to die down, everything. Yeah. to like go a little further kind of like I'm using half pieces and I like semi fold them but not, a mu not too much you know yeah like, it seems so it'll to still cut the flow wind. it seems to cut the wind a little bit and it still floats yeah. oh, cool. <sighs> oh, I'm right on them they're feeding right it's floating right there. Oh, it's just a carp. It's a big one though. Oh my god. Canal whale. It's a freaking monster. They don't fight nearly as hard as Pocky. Trying to get this guy out without falling in this super deep water here. There's like a 20 pound grass cart for you guys. I'm trying to hold them up for you. Let's hold them up. Do that, guys. Now he's bleeding, so I'm gonna get him back in the water. It's a nice carp. That was pretty crazy, but. Like I said, guys, not the fish we're after. Started with like one, and they like all started destroying it. I was walking down the canal on the way out. There's five of them sitting in the canal. I was like, damn, I wish I had a piece of bread. Yeah, I'm letting them have that. It's a waiting game now. It's starting to get calm too. That should be good. Yeah, the wind is dying down. Got him, bro. It's a carp. Big ass carp. Oh my god, he got it, dude. Yeah, he's got it. You ready, bro? Oh, I somehow got it off, dude. Oh, you're gonna get him, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I think he's on. Got him, dude. Oh, is that a. What is that? I don't know. That's a carp, dude. Oh my god. There's not all just carp. No, some of them are big plus. No, yeah. 
I caught one like that a minute ago too and you left. They're going off right here, bro. They're going off. Where'd they all go? Yeah, that's perfect out there. Oh, bro, 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 get your rod, dude. That's a monster, dude. Oh, <laughs> bro. Oh, my God. You see that, dude? Bro, I was like, I'm gonna go grab a cigarette real quick. I won't miss. <laughs> oh, my God. That one's giant, bro. <laughs> you feel that thing, dude? I heard it fully out of the water on that beach. Shake. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Finally got one of these to eat. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, there he is, dude. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that, dude? He's like 30, 40 pounds. <laughs> Easy. Oh, no, 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 bro. Did he break off? He broke off, dude. Alright, um, um. Dude, you got hooked up though, bro. Just like loosen up on him a little bit more, I guess. He had that in his mouth, bro. Ate the whole thing, dude. Just shave. Give it like 10 minutes to chill. I, I bro, like, that hit was insane, dude. As soon as you. You saw it better than me, but it was just from like, what I saw, he went like airborne on me. <laughs> Secret spot. Yeah. Oh, there's a carp. They're usually with them, though, dude. The turtle's coming right up to you, dude. <laughs> Yo. Bread's not for y'all, bro. They're like swarming us, dude. <laughs> there's literally like a thousand turtles in this one pond. I want to like bite your toes. <laughs> dude, they're about to, bro. They do have to get close. They just sit and wait. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. They're like so tame. Go out there and fight the Paku for it. There's so many turtles in this little tiny lake. <laughs> oh my god, they're like coming up with like one feet. Literally crawling up like this. Look. This is crazy. No, not the whole thing. Oh my god. We are at Catch Mall's famous fishing spot, and I just saw a huge cockney come up. Got a bread ball in there. Let's see if he wants it. Turtles are everywhere. Oh my God! There he is out there. They're in here. Hook your Paku! Oh, I wish I had the bite on camera. He came out right out of the bridge, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Try and put some heat on him when I can. Bring him back over here. It's gonna take off in a minute. Oh, 
I'm gonna get stuck on this ledge here too though. He's not as big as the other ones, but he's not small. <laughs> I'm try it. It's a big one, dude. Yeah, you cut your 30 last time, so I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. He's getting rubbed on something. Oh my god, they fight so crazy, dude. I'm gonna follow him though, before he gets under that. Oh. Yeah, the carp almost got it before him, then he came out of nowhere and crushed it. I just want to get a picture with this thing. This thing is crazy. He's going to turn around the... That second run was like ridiculous. I don't want him to break though. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna try and grab him. Cause he, yeah, he's got it past his teeth. See that? He like cut through it. <laughs> Thought we were gonna land him for a second, but <laughs> guess not. It's when they see the land there. Oh shoot. That's not good. Yeah, he's around something. Oh, he's off, he's off, he's off. All right, let's keep him over here. I don't want him going back down in that again. Yeah. That's like the rope to that mountain though. If he gets on that, we're screwed. The 30 pound, bro. This is the first pocket bite I've gotten today. Yeah, there's a ton of them. <laughs> Scary, dude. Freaking me off, bro. Oh my god. It's a solid 20 pounder, dude. I just want to see the ones at that one spot now, though. There's more than just this one in here, too. Yeah, I'm glad the fight came that way, so I'm trying to fight. Yeah, it's shallow over here. For real, dude. Glad we got that extra white bread. Oh, he's actually? Yeah, no, he is hooked past there. No way, bro. He broke so easily. What the? Just cut it, dude. I barely put any pressure on him, bro. I was just like turning him a little bit. He broke it. Oh, God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. I thought that was it. We need a net. <laughs> yeah, that would have been That's fun. all you need, dude. Grab all your stuff and just try again. <laughs> oh, it sucks. 
I had him so close to me. Damn, I hope there's more over here now though. Well, hope he wasn't like the king of the pond. Fine, uh, pieces of bread. If you don't know, I said fine. And scatter it over here like you were doing. Yeah. When all the turtles come running over here. Go over there and distract the turtles. Look at that dude. Bit right through it. You did better than me apparently though. Yours is probably bigger though. Yeah, mine was probably like 30 all day. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the ones in there were like 80 pounds. Some of them. The one you're like, yeah, that looks like a dolphin, dude. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed that first attempt at trying to catch a Paku. That was my first time actually fishing for them. Unfortunately, they're extremely smart fish. Just like everyone says, they're really hard to catch. They've got sharp teeth. They'll break your line, guys. So if anything, try to learn from my mistakes and go out there and catch you guys a Paku. To be honest, it was a lot of fun still. We got some really cool footage um, when I was down in South Florida. We still got a ton of other videos coming out from the same trip, guys. This is just the Paku. We got to spend about a half day fishing for the Paku, but it was a blast. I'm definitely planning on going back there. Just gonna go over the tackle we were using really quick. Obviously bread is all that we were using for bait. No weight or anything like that. I use a 30 pound mono leader so that the bread would still float. Try not to use fluorocarbon because fluorocarbon sinks and you want the bread to be floating. I was using a seven foot pen rod and and my Cast King Sharky 3 5,000 reel with 50 pound braid. That combo really did put the heat on them. I just didn't have heavy enough leader to land them, unfortunately. But now we know. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Oh, and giveaway at 5K. Don't forget it, guys. Peace.